Hi everyone, as shown in the previous clip, I have been able to get the Orcus turrets tracer unit to light up the glow gel balls that are fire, and this video will walk through the modifications I made to it. Thank you for your comments and guidance in the previous demonstration video. The glow gel balls should be illuminated by UV light instead of the white LED I originally used. By referring to the practical experience of this excellent creator on Reddit, I chose 365 nanometers wavelength ultraviolet light as the tracer light source. There are no off-the-shelf UV LED boards sized to fit the Orcus turret barrel. I had to build a custom 12-volt UV LED board by purchasing a aluminum substrate strip of the right size, 1 watt UV LEDs in 3030 package, and SMD resistors, then soldering them together. Because the tracer LED board's dimensions have changed, the barrel set also needs to be modified. I've left as much space as possible in the barrel set to facilitate installation of the substrate strip you may purchase and its adapter you made. Here's a comparison of the original and revised versions. Finally, I needed to adjust the LEDs timing control in the firmware. Originally, the LEDs on time is synchronized with the moment the airsoft piston is released from the snap action switch. When adjusting it, I found that I needed to advance it slightly to synchronize the moment the snap action switch was pressed so that the LED would light up in time with the gel ball passing through the barrel. So far so good, but there is still an issue on the feeder side that need to be resolved. That is the gel ball breakage. Because glow gel balls are softer than regular gel balls, they can easily break during feeding due to squeezing between themselves or between the feeder, causing the feeder to clog. I made the following modification to the feeder to resolve this issue. First. Inside the feeder, the gel balls may be crushed by the protrusions marked by the red circle and rotating gears during the feeding process. And I smoothed out this protrusion as shown. Second, I modified the rising part of the feeding tube to be smoother, so that it does not have a 90 degree bend. Finally, I made this stirrer to keep the gel balls flowing so they can be caught more easily by the feeding gear. These modifications will be named version 20251116 and updated to the STL package sold on the Orcus project page on Cults 3D. The listed chapters of the tutorial will also be updated. If you replaced the LED board of tracer with UV LEDs according to the tutorial, please remember to check out and update to the latest firmware to apply the aforementioned LED control timing modifications. Thanks for your watching and wish you a successful build.